revenue.com with another fabulous real estate investing video tip. Today I'm answering kind of three different questions that came in and I'm going to answer all in one video. And the questions were all around property management. What do I pay? Where do I find them? And what do I ask them when I'm trying to figure out if I want to work with them? Now, a lot of these tips I'm going to share with you today are covered in my book, more than cash flow, the real risks and rewards of profitable real estate investing. You can get that on amazon.com or amazon.ca. And you should. It's an awesome book. And I'm not just saying that because I wrote it. <laughs> but today, tips for property managers. And basically, I kind of have a five step process, if you will. Number one is to ask around, ideally, real estate investors in the area. Ask around for referrals for property managers and ask them why, you know, how long have you worked with them? Why do you work with them? What do you like? What don't you like? And then based on that, go with a couple that you, you know, get good referrals for. If somebody, if everybody keeps mentioning the same company, uh, then, you know, definitely wanted to call them. So that's step number one, referrals. If you can't find any real estate investors and you don't know anybody else, then go on good old online and see who comes up. Um, but then you're going to want to do a little bit more research and do some verifications, reference checks after the fact. Okay. So that's step one. Step two, research. So if you didn't find them online, I would go online and just type in some, you know, the, co the company name reviews, the company name, see what comes up, see if there's any complaints, just do some general online research. Number three, call them. When you call them, there's some key questions you want to ask. What type of properties do you manage? And find out if they manage the kind of property you're buying, because some of them specialize in strata management. They're not even really going to be the kind of property manager you want to work with, but others will focus on apartment building management. You might be looking for somebody who's going to manage your house. So find out what properties they manage, what areas of the city they manage in. And then you also want to ask if they offer other services other than property management. And ask it that way. Ask it almost like you're looking for them to offer other services, when actually, in my opinion, you're not. You want them to be only property managers. If they also have a maintenance company, how can you trust that when they say, you know, things need to be, work needs to be done around your property, that they're saying that because it really does need to be done or because they need to boost the revenue on their maintenance side. So I prefer them to just be property managers. Don't even really like the mix of realtor and property manager because again, I just want them to be specialized in finding and working with great tenants. Okay. But that's another question I will ask. What do they charge? And of course, other references and the charging one is really, really important. And if you get to the point where you think you might want to work with them, then you definitely are going to want to ask them some questions around this and read the contract. But charges vary, and this was one of the questions that came in. Many of our property managers, we've worked with, I think, seven different property managers, maybe more. And we've paid anywhere from 6% of the rent to 10% of the rent. But that's often not the one that really hurts. The piece that hurts is the tenant placement fee. And that charge can be anywhere from a fixed fee, I think we paid $250 uh, no matter what, to a full month's rent. And when you're renting your place for $1,600 and you pay a property manager $1,600 to find a tenant, that stings. It hurts. So you're going to want to know that up front and you're going to want to make sure that that $1,600 includes any advertising costs. Although these days with online advertising, it's pretty cheap, but you want to make sure that includes them taking pictures, them running the ads, etc. So you want to double check all of that. You also want to find out if they charge extra for other things because the property management company that we paid 6% to had so many fees. So they would do quarterly walkthroughs of your property and then they would charge you a fee for that. And in the end, after working with them for a couple of years, it basically worked out that 6% plus all their ridiculous fees, it was actually a 10% basically charge anyways. So probably would have been happier to pay 10% because it felt like they were bleeding us dry with all these fees. And of course, they're the ones that also charged a full month's rent for tenant placement. The other thing with the full month's rent that really bothered me was there was no guarantee that a tenant was going to stay for a period of time. That would be something I would look for, although many property managers probably won't give it to you, but I don't want to have to pay that. I don't even want to pay that fee once a year, 
but I certainly don't want to pay it more than once a year. So I want to guarantee that if they place a tenant and they move out for some reason, they break their lease for some reason, I'm not paying to fill it again. I want that place filled. I also want to find out if I'm paying them when the place is vacant because some property managers will charge you a fee or still the percentage of the rent while it's vacant. I want them motivated to get it filled. So I want to only be paying them that management fee when there's a tenant in place. So those are all some things you want to think about. Different property managers run their business differently, but you'll want to check that out. So that's step number four. Step number five is getting references. And I would ask for the address of some of the properties they manage. You can go to their website, see what other properties they have listed currently. Do some drive-bys, see what kind of condition these places are in, see what kind of properties they are. And then of course, ask for them to give you the name of some of their clients, call them, ask them what they like and don't like about working with that property manager. It's important to have help. Listen, even if you manage your properties right now, things change. We've gone from managing all our properties ourselves to having them all managed by property management to a, a mix. And now we're still at a mix. We have property managers managing some of them. We manage some of them. There's reasons for it, but life changes. Even if you're managing today, you might move away. Your job might get more intensive. Something might happen where you can no longer do it. So it's a good idea to always be in contact with a local property management company, just in case you need them. If you've got questions, Go ahead, ask them right here in YouTube. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and you want others. It makes me happy, encourages me to go on, keep giving you good videos to help you in your real estate investing business. And of course, come back, visit again. I'd love to connect with you on Twitter and with our newsletter, revenue.com. So go ahead, connect, say hello, and I'll see you next time.